Montefoscoli, December 20th, 1941. Dear Director, could you please let me know how my daughter, your patient Renee T, is getting along? I've written to my daughter several times, but have received no reply. I'm very worried, particularly as I've been ill for some time and have not been well enough to come and visit her. Please kindly let me know when it will be possible for me to bring my daughter home. Your humble servant, Ada T. Bring this letter to the attention of Dr. C so he can assess the potential discharge of the patient. Look for Renee's room in the slightly agitated ward. the window shutters, the door, and switch off all the lights. We want darkness. next to me. 
choked by her own vomit. She was tied down because she wouldn't stop pleasuring herself. I can still hear her death rattle. I screamed, but nobody came. Everybody screamed in there, all of them. It was then I saw the doll, which wasn't Charlotte. No, she wasn't Charlotte. was like the present, that doll, that man, the shame. Rene was increasingly divorced from reality. How will I ever find out what really happened? How will I ever find Amara again if I can't even find myself? Montefoscoli, November 12th, 1939. My dear daughter, it is with great sadness that I heard what happened. Your transfer and your sufferings are a cause of great worry for me. It will take time, but you'll see, things will improve. They'll treat you and you'll get better again. I pray a lot, every day. Write to me often, and tell me if you need anything. I promise I'll do what I can. Try to be strong. Mom. This is the last letter she wrote to me. Once I was put into this ward, I was overwhelmed by loneliness. After that medical examination, I received no more letters from Mom. Why is that man here? Why doesn't she come to see me? Did I make a mistake? It didn't seem like she wanted to abandon me. What did I do wrong? I'd like to be able to reply to her again now, to change things. she would have listened to me. Will she reply?
June 1935. After much theorizing and practice in clinics for the privileged, the moment for action has finally arrived. Volterra is the right place. It's an avant-garde.